Hello, everybody. I'm going to plug my phone in here. Hang tight while I wiggle you around a little bit. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today, I am going to unbox my pre-order for you. So if you were looking for some creative inspiration, we're going to use our imaginations there. I'm not actually going to be making anything today, but I am going to be showing you all the goodies that I got out of the new catalog. So hi Karen, hi Sandy, Mary, Kelly, welcome. I see everybody popping in here really quick. What's everybody doing on a Saturday morning? I'm in my office and I have to tell you, it's really quiet here, nobody's home. And I am going to unbox all my goodies for you guys and look at them myself because I know this is really, really hard to believe. But I have a great big box of stuff that I opened the lid on, but I haven't taken anything out. So I haven't got, I, I haven't seen it either in real life. So, well, this is about as close to real life as um, you're going to get for right now. <laughs> but I'm super excited to look through this box and show you all the goodies that I got. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Cheryl. Marsha. Welcome. Jean. So happy to see so many of you popping in here this morning. This was just a little impromptu Facebook Live. So, oh, Anne Marie is crafting. What are the rest of you guys doing? Hi, Jamie, Sierra. I know, it's. Um, it looked like it was pretty sunny outside earlier. I got up and answered some emails and did some stuff online. And then I went and took a shower, so I'd look presentable because I was kind of like, ah, like this when I got up this morning. Then I ate some breakfast, some good old Optavia cereal. Mmm. <laughs> what did you guys have for breakfast? What was on your menu this morning? Make me jealous. I want to see. What did you get to eat for breakfast? Vicky's at her grandson's. Oh, she has a baseball game soon. Sandy, I actually thought about putting my crown on. Sandy says, where is your crown? I actually thought about putting it on, but you know what? I wear my crown because it helps me stamp better and we're not stamping. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, I think I've given everybody an opportunity to pop in here. And um, I have this amazingly huge box of goodies here. Like, holy cow. And I think what I'm gonna do, unless it doesn't work, Oh, Joy says it's snowing there. Oh, my Lord. Coffee and toast. Uh, Jean is waiting for the snow. You like my shirt? Thank you. Yeah, I like this shirt, too. It's comfortable, too. It's not binding at all. I, I don't like to wear tight clothes. Pancakes and sausage, Elaine. Mm, I love maple syrup. <laughs> okay, let's get this show on the road. I hope I have enough room here to do this. Um, first and foremost, right on the top of my box is the Good Morning Magnolia. Oh my Lord, you guys. I can't tell you how absolutely excited I am about this whole suite of products. It is just gorgeous. And of course, because I didn't unpack my box ahead of time, I'm not going to be able to show you a whole suite at once because the Designer Series paper for this suite, they always put it in the bottom of the box so it doesn't get all crinkled up. So um, I'll try, and, and, and keep in mind, I have not memorized my new catalog, so I probably don't even know what goes with what yet. It's gonna take me a little while, and you know I have like memory problems, yeah. So anyways, Magnolia, Good Morning Magnolia is absolutely gorgeous. Can you see the Stampin' Blend color um, opportunities here? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Color me jealous. Exactly. Okay. So that's, a, that's so big that it has two cases. Oh, and then I'll have to show you guys my um, shelves. I cleaned off all my shelves of all the retiring stamp sets last night. So, oh my goodness, I was up till 3 in the morning. And don't panic at that going, oh my God, she never sleeps. That is not true. It's all relative. If I go to bed at 3 in the morning, I get up at 9. If I go to bed at midnight, I don't get up at 6. 
<laughs> That's why I do a little catch up. I wake up about 7.30 or 8. So I'm getting plenty of sleep. It's just that I am a night owl. And even at 3 or 3.30 this morning, I like looked at my computer to see what time it was. It's like, oh my Lord, I have to go to bed. So um, I am like going in the middle of the night when everybody else is sleeping. Okay, I'll shut up and keep going here. Um, memorable mosaic. Now, I was... I, I mentioned before, I think mosaics are really going to be a trendy thing. Um, I think we're going to see them in um, home decor and also clothing. Yeah. So, how soon does the demands get the catalog? Oh, Karen, that's Demo Talk. We've talked about that several times um, on my uh, team page. And... Um, I actually just did my mailing selector for all of my customers. So if you've placed at least a $50 order with me in the last, and I actually went to November, so eight months, you'll be getting a catalog. And those will be shipped out probably mid-May. So just know that. Here is Floral Essence. This is the million dollar stamp set that was made by my friend Mary Ellen Byler. She's an Amish gal. Um, and she is just the funniest. We have such a good time with her when we go to Stampin' Up! events. But she was actually in Minneapolis and demonstrated some cards for us with this stamp set. So isn't that beautiful? And again, some great coloring options here. Or you can stamp in color. So we've got coloring or stamping color. Very pretty. Okay, next. Oh, I'm sorry. This was not Mary Ellen's. I think this one is. See, I told you, I haven't memorized. Yeah, that wasn't Mary Ellen's. I'm sorry. To a Wild Rose. This is Mary Ellen's. And again, we have coloring options here or stamping with color. And it's actually two-step stamping, too, or three if you want to. But beautiful, beautiful stamp set. I saw that, Karen. Karen said she misspelled demonstrator, and I understood what you were saying. <laughs> and next, what do we have here? Now... You guys are going to have to be patient with me because I didn't open this box up ahead of time and get anything ready to do this. I'm just pulling it all out for the first time right now, which means I have to open packages and show them to you. One of the things you're going to find about Stampin' Up's um, new dies is that they're packaged, they're packaged a little differently. We've got a little different clasp on the back here. I like these envelopes. And here are the dies that go with the Good Morning Magnolia. So those are the dies that go with that. Yeah, pretty cool, right? And um, our dies changed a little bit. They used to be that they had the cutting edge on the very out, very outside of the metal, and now it's on the inside. And I think it actually makes it a little easier because... Um, my friend tested it out for me so I could see it because she had some new dies. And when you stamp the image and put the die on, the die exactly, the opening in the die fits exactly around the stamped image. There's no white space that you have to kind of go, oh, is the white space enough here or too much there? So they actually work better. I'm super excited about this. Okay, let me get these back in here or I will have a complete disaster on my hands. Here are the budding blooms, and again, I apologize for the opening time. I always like to get this stuff done quickly for you, so you don't have to sit around twiddling your thumbs. Grab your popcorn. <laughs> this is going to be a long haul because I have a big box here. This is called Budding Blooms Dies, and it looks kind of weird. We don't really know what it goes with yet, but I'm pretty sure there's a stamp set in here. <laughs> that matches it. Oh, and then we have Above the Clouds. How pretty is this? Now, if you are not on my team yet, you sh would be able to order all of this stuff starting May 2nd. All, almost all of it. Our pre-order on May 2nd may be a little different. But once you become a discount shopper on my team, you can order this stuff a month ahead of time. And it's so much fun to get it in your hands before everybody else. 
it starts with art and this is a whole suite of projects super super cute I think I have let me find my card oh yeah I've got some cards over here that we um they were making takes and on stage so here is let me back this up a little bit here is the suite and here's a card made with this stamp set well it's not the suite you know what I mean <laughs> yeah there'll be lots of fumbles today believe me look at this a good man love this stamp set this reminds me of that what was that one set by the bay or something like that that was so so pretty yeah I love it and free as a bird isn't this pretty now I know this is a whole suite and I have a card made with it isn't that gorgeous you guys this is designer series paper, and then the birds were stamped. And check out that new um, lace ribbon. Isn't that pretty? Wah. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I wish I could hear you guys talking to me. I'm, I know that would probably be complete chaos, but because I, I know that if I was at home looking at this stuff, I would be going, oh my gosh, I have to have that. And I would love to be hearing that right now. Okay, next set of framelits, Arts and Craft Dies. Okay, I'll pull out that little stamp set that it goes with. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. And where did our Arts and Crafts go? Right here. Isn't Look at all the details on there. Absolutely adorable, right? And these, whoops, wrong side. These cut out the pens in the stamp set. Whoops, let me see if I can do this. This is hard. <laughs> it takes a lot of talent to do this. <laughs> okay. And I think I'll just set these aside. Keep everything stacked up until it falls over. Oh, here's some of that lace trim. And I'm not going to open all this up, you guys, but you saw it on that card, right? Hope it's focusing. This is called Scalloped Lace Trim. And then we have, ooh, this is fun. This is called Magnolia Lane. This goes with the Magnolia Lane Suite. So we have, I think that's gray granite ribbon and then mossy meadow um, linen thread. <gasps> I loved the old olive linen thread that was with the Needlepoint Nook Suite from the Occasions Mini Catalog. Wasn't that pretty? Yeah. Oh, and I got lots of lace. I used to just buy one of everything and see what I would use, but then I found that I'm so last minute. You guys know that I'm not real organized, right? <laughs> Maybe I'm sharing a little secret there, but I don't think so. And um, then I would want to use it for one of my live stamping events, and I didn't have enough. Like one roll wouldn't be enough for all of my, my stamp clubs, for example. So now I just order the max usually of three of everything. And I do go through it. This is Night of Navy and Sahara Sand. So while it may look white in the camera, it's actually Sahara Sand. This is going to be awesome for the good man, don't you think? Yeah, I do too. All right, next. Oh, who wants to see the new ink colors? I can get them all out here. Here they are. Okay, we have Seaside Spray. And isn't that so pretty? Yeah. Pretty peacock. I'm glad to see a color like this come back. This is kind of like Island Indigo. But I'm really happy. It's a different shade. And it's going to be really pretty. And then we have Purple Posy. Let's see how long it takes me to get these names down. Purple Posy. Rococo Rose. That's a nice mauve color. Um, so last night we went shopping for flowers for Haley's wedding, and this is one of the colors in her wedding. She's also doing um, kind of, well, kind of a blue color like this, vanilla, a mustard color, and something else. But I'm happy to report we signed a contract last night with the best florist. What was that place called? Nature's Best in Green Bay. The man that owns that is hysterical, and it is the funniest little greenhouse, or not, it's a florist shop. It's not a greenhouse. They have the funniest, most inappropriate things there that you can buy, like dish towels that say funny things, and 
um, like all the little wood signs that I have all over the place, those and napkins. It was so, so funny. Okay, last color, terracotta tile. And I love the terracotta color. So I'm really excited about this. So you guys, we have brand new colors. And you guys know that Stampin' Up! attends Fashion Week in New York City to find out what the trendy colors are going to be. And then every year they bring us five new on-trend colors so that we can keep our stamping on trend too. And I so appreciate that because who wants to be using old outdated colors, right? Okay. Oh my gosh, I have to open this. Magnolia Lane Memories and More card pack. Let's get this open. Hope I don't stab myself in my rush to show it to you. <laughs> All right. These are going to, I know they're just going to be beautiful. I just know it. Hang with me, you guys. This is a time consuming little process. So, in the Memories and More packs, a, a lot of people, I don't know, don't take advantage of these like they should. But you get three packs. Now, these are meant to make your scrapbooking easy, right? But they make fabulous cards. So, first of all, what I've got here, let me, let me spit on my fingers a little bit. Two sets of die-cut adhesive sheets. And then we've got some beautiful, can you see this? There, that's better. Vellum. These are vellum pieces. Oh my Lord, so pretty. And now we're getting into the cards. So I'll just show you a few of them, okay? So here's one, and then the back is different. Look at how gorgeous that is. Now you can put this right on a card front and um, stamp a greeting on, a, let's say, a stitch shape framelit and add it to the front with some little embellishments and you've got a beautiful card, right? Uh, you get two of each, okay? So you get two of each pattern. There's another one. And then on the back, looks like that. What's this say? Hooray for today. And then on the back, just a nice pattern that matches, you know, the colors match. Oops, let me do this right. I don't want this to be a mess when I'm done. Here's just some pretty, pretty flowers. And the back. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, beautiful. And the back. All coordinating. Like, this makes your life... Oh, look, there's more. Um... <laughs> Two of these, these are self-adhesive die-cut sheets. Yeah, so I don't know what the question was there, but some, Donna just asked a question, and I saw somebody answered it. You get to order from the same. Yeah, it doesn't matter whether you're a business builder, you're doing this as a business, or a discount shopper. As long as you're on my team or a demonstrator on somebody's team, you're all considered a demonstrator. You get to pre-order. Stampin' Up! does not discriminate against um, discount shoppers. So don't think that. You get all the benefits that we get, sister. Yeah, it's a pretty sweet deal, right? Look at this. Pretty. Okay, so that's the four by six cards. I think that's what size they are. I'm not going to look at the whatever it says, but I'm pretty sure that's the side. Four by six. These are four by six. Then you have all these that are maybe three by four. And again, you go through these and they're this, you know, they're not the same. They're all different, but they're double sided, all of them. And I'm not going to open these two up, but you get the idea, right? This was called Magnolia Lane Memories and More Card Pack. So, if you, become, if you get on my team, make sure you get this to be a discount shopper. Um, or when the catalog goes live, order a set of these. You will not be disappointed. I'm not kidding about that. Okay, next. Bird Ballad Laser Cut Cards and Tin. Oh, this is exciting. It's just like Christmas here. Yeah, Diana, they are good for card fronts. Now, they're four by six. So um, a lot of them you can just trim down. Some of them, 
Ooh, sorry. Some of them, the pattern, you may cut off some of the pattern, but you can make four by six cards and use the envelope punch board and make bigger envelopes, right? Okay, so this, let me show you what just made the loud clank. This is the Bird Ballad Laser Cut Card Tin. And this is part of that bird stamp set suite. Let me find it. This one. So there's a whole suite of products. This is part of it. And inside of that is a set of cards and envelopes. So you know what? I need to see inside because no kid likes to open up their presents and leave them in the box. <laughs> That's what I feel like right now is a child opening Christmas presents. Yeah, and because I have to do this, this is all going to take a little longer, you guys, and I hope you don't mind. Okay. Oh my goodness. Woo! Look at that. Holy cannoli. Laser cut cards. And again, this goes along, I think, with that bird suite. And I'm looking to see if they're all... Yep, you get... Let's see. You get... Let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You get twelve laser cut cards. <gasps> Are the birds going to have framelits? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. And look at these pretty envelope flaps. And this looks to be vanilla. So, cards and envelopes in the pretty little tin. Yeah, I can maybe see an online class coming very soon with this one. What do you guys think? Is that a good idea? Oh, I love that. That's so, so pretty. Okay, next. <clears throat> Let's see. And I got a couple of those. Um, oh, these are fun. And these, I think, I don't know. They're great little boxes for anybody, but I think they're geared more towards um, demonstrators because they have the Stampin' Up! logo on them. Aren't they cute? Oops, they're upside down. Aren't they cute? And they're all die cut and they just fold right on the score lines and make these adorable little boxes. Hang on, I'm going to put one together for you. There we go. Isn't it cute? Looks like UPS just arrived. <laughs> all right, those are fun. Oh, let me get rid of this. I don't need that cardboard. And I will. I just threw that in my trash, but I will put it in the recycle. Do not worry. My friend Barb is a big recycler, so I'm trying to be better. <laughs> um, Verdant Garden. So I wasn't really excited about this stamp set, but I have to tell you, after I saw the video that Stampin' Up! made for it, I was like, oh my lord, that is so fun. So you wait and see what we come up with with this, because I think it's going to be pretty cool. Then we have the Stampin' um Oops, this is called Button Button Embossing Folder. And it's got all these cute little buttons on it. Do you want me to open it? I think I have to. Is my label upside down? What do you mean? This label? Bridget just asked, is my label upside down? What label are you talking about? Oh, on the box you mean? Oh, <laughs> it is. <laughs> we just found a boo-boo. Yeah, I'll call Stampin' Up! about that on Monday. <laughs> Thank you for telling me that, Bridget. I had no idea. I thought it was kind of odd the way the bo box closed on the top, but I'm like, I don't know. I haven't touched this stuff. Okay, here's our pretty little embossing folder, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? Ooh, I just cleaned out all my dies. So this was completely full of current dies and embossing folders. And this is what it's looking like now that I cleaned it out. Ma. Yeah, and you know what? It felt really good to clean out a lot of stuff because there was a lot of stuff in there that I haven't used in a long time. So um, if any of you are local, I have my used stamp sale coming up. Oh, I'm just going to set this aside. I'm not going to put it back in there. The first weekend in June. Uh, come sail away. Oh, I'm just going to open the, the box on these because, you know, that kid thing is factoring in again. <laughs> uh, 
it's meant, oh, Melissa said it's meant to be that way, the boxes. So you use the washi tape and there is washi tape. Oh, that makes perfect sense. Thanks, you guys, for clarifying so I don't have to call it Stampin' Up! on Monday and sound like an idiot because I've done that more than once. <laughs> I know that's shocking, right? Okay, here we go. Oh, here's another pack. This is the Come Sail Away Memories and More card pack. And, ooh, look at that. That's one of the little 3 by 4 cards. Here's a back. Here's another one. And the back of that one. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, these make just gorgeous layers on your cards. I can't even tell you. Here's another one. If you were to do scrapbooking, this is a great um, journaling page. And there's just some specs. Oh, no. Actually, that's not anything. It's I can see there's some die cuts in there. Do you guys want me to open this? <sighs> I think I better. <laughs> okay. Lighthouse is yes, Cindy. We have lighthouse. There's a whole stamp set. Okay. So this was what was on the back. Oh, my Lord. Look at that. These are die cut adhesive stickers. So you just peel them off and use them. There's always two of everything, remember? So there's two sheets of that. Let me, I'm just going to find some of the really, oh, oh my gosh, look at this. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Somebody just said, hey, you can't know what you don't know. You are so right about that. And believe me, I don't know a lot. Oh, that reminds me. You guys, when I did the run through through the um, catalog to show you everything that was retired or retiring, I missed the ruffled embossing folder. Somebody um, messaged me and told me that was also retiring. So just know that. Did I have another note? I've got notes on my Facebook Live for Sunday night. Oh, and <laughs> this is kind of funny. Like, I can't believe I did. I told you guys the right in colors that are retiring, but I actually have the wrong set circled as retiring. So these are retiring, not those. And you all know that, right? I said the right colors, but I didn't circle the right colors. Okay, here's some more of this. Sorry, I just, I hate it when I make a mistake and think somebody's going to go with that information and it's going to be wrong and it's going to be my fault. I don't want to be that person. Oh, this was the back of that one. Okay. Oh, look at this. Yeah. How cool is that? Ha! This is so exciting. I'm so glad that I decided to open this for the first time and share it with you guys because I have to say it's a lot more fun. <laughs> World's greatest guy. Yeah, my husband is turkey hunting. And um, he's not having very good luck. Oh, my Lord, look at this. But he's only been gone for a couple days. But, yeah, so my house is really quiet, and I love it. Oh, and my mom's visiting. She's taking a painting class in our nearby town of Nina. And so she's having a blast. Last night we went to the Mad Apple for supper, and I had a grilled chicken something salad and it was very good all the food was delicious and then I'm going to be naughty and go to probably who hot tonight <laughs> but that's a pretty good meal for somebody who's trying to lose weight yeah Jackie says I just knew when I saw this stuff I was going to need it I know right okay so hang on am I showing you doubles of stuff I already showed you this didn't I I don't remember because I'm yakking and not paying attention to what I'm doing. So, oh, here's some more. Are these? Yep, these are die cut adhesives. Aren't they beautiful? You get two sheets of them. Oh, and look at this next laser cut dealie. Look at this. What? Yeah. <gasps> so pretty. Now remember, these are four by six cards, and then you also get two packs of the three by fours. Oops, let's do this. Okay, you get two packs of these that you can use to layer on your cards or scrapbook pages too. And again, these memory and more kits are a lot of fun. I did not get a chance to use them um, in this last mini catalog. I have some, but you know, there's only so many days in the week, so many hours in the day, and you know how that goes. Okay, so I got two packs of those. Woo! Okay, next. Magnolia Lane Large Specialty Memories and More Envelopes, you guys. We have to open this. I don't know if it's going to be anything more than what we see right now, but 
can't wait. See if I can stab myself with my sharp little nasty scissors. I shouldn't say nasty. These are wonderful. <laughs> but they will make you bleed. Okay. So, you know what? This is perfect for um, the Magnolia set. This is a little bit thinner cardstock. And look at this. It's got a silver embossed rectangle on it. That's really pretty. And... I'm going to have to open this whole thing. I didn't want to. But I want to show you the envelope. And a matching envelope with the silver embossed, metallic embossing all around the envelope. So this is part of the Magnolia Suite. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Let me see if I can put this back in here without destroying the rest of it. So you get... Um, oh, it says 20 cards and envelopes in here. Very, very pretty. Next! Oh, I got I got lots of those little boxes. Because <laughs> I think they're going to be really fun. Oh, here's the Sail Away set. Yeah, you guys. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful images. All of our stamps are now coming in our new cling mount or the photo polymer. Photo polymer. Oh, somebody said, is there liners in with those envelopes? Did, is that what you just said? Huh. I don't see anything. Oh, thank you. Ah! Oh my gosh. Look at the envelope liners. You slide this down and cover up the inside of the flap. Thank you so much. I had no idea. I told you that I have not had time to really sit down and absorb this new catalog, you guys. So all the liners, look at all the, the whole stack of liners you get with this. Yeah, that's really beautiful. Thank you. That was so sweet of you to tell me that. Yeah, tell me if I'm missing something because I don't want to bore you guys to death. Uh, here comes our in color papers. So I got lots of that because I have swapping. I've got two swaps hanging up over here on my wall. I always, when I join a swap, I print out all the information for it and I hang it up. <coughs> and then I put on there how many groups I joined, how many I need to make for each group, and when it's due so that I don't forget things. Huh. Um, Diana said, after this big order, is this it for you or do you still order more stuff? Oh, oh, I order lots more stuff later, Diana. <laughs> Yeah, I have no self-control. <laughs> but um, it depends on what's on the May 2nd pre-order. Sometimes that pre-order is a little, a little bit different than the um, on-stage pre-order. And we do get to order from that again. I won't order, like, the stamp sets and stuff like that. But I might order some more consumables depending on what I need for classes. This is the Perennial Flower Punch. Oh, and I have a card. See, remember this card? Oops, I'm a little shaky. There we go. Ooh, and I'm starting to have a hot flash. Welcome to my world. Is that too much information? <laughs> I don't know. That goes with this, that punch. This was made with this. And now we have this little punch that matches mm, this flower right here. Yeah. Cool. Oh, starting to sweat, and I can't take off my shirt because this is just a tank top, and I don't want to look trashy. It's not trashy, Kelly Day. We don't wear this tank top without something over it. Let's just be clear about that. So, funny little story. This is just a gray tank top, and it's just a little cheap tank top that I picked up as $5, right? And I wanted it to go under a different shirt, and um, I got more Magnolia Lane. We've already seen that, and... Um, when we were up in Minneapolis, I, I think I wore this outfit. And it the, the shirt is like way down to here. Like it's really, really long. So I asked my friend Barb, I'm like, get your scissors and cut this off. And she was like, what? And I'm like, no, cut it off. I hate tank tops that go that long. So the bottom of it is just completely cut off. And I've laundered it and it's fine. Oh my goodness, this is called, oh, this is Wild Rose Dyes. Look at the dyes that go with the To A Wild Rose. And I believe, I can't remember for sure, but this was Mary Ellen's stamp set, my friend. And um, I believe this is a tribute maybe to her grandmother. 
does anybody know for sure? I had to step out of the room um, for a moment, so I missed some of the information she shared about it. Okay, next. Oh, look at this cutie. Follow your art embellishment kit. Yeah, Luann calls them her personal summer. I call them pain and the you know what. <clears throat> you know what was funny? <clears throat> Excuse me. When we were down in Florida last June, you know, it was really hot and humid there, right? And I love that weather, so don't get me wrong. But we'd be standing in line to go on some mega roller coaster. I know it's shocking that I would like roller coasters. No, I love them. Um, but because it was so hot and humid there, I'd be standing there and all of a sudden sweat would just start running down my face and body because I started having a hot flash and I couldn't even feel it coming on because I was already so hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too much? Too much information? Okay, check this out. These are the cutest little things ever. These are <clears throat> felt and they're die cut. What? I know, right? They're so cute. Can you see those good? Look at all those cute little images. These are all felt. And look at, they're die cut. You just pull them out of here. You put them on, I think, with mini glue dots. I think that's what they used when we were on stage. That's one of the cool things about going to on stage. If you're paying good attention, which obviously sometimes I wasn't. Um, I know you probably find that shocking too. <laughs> Squirrel. But, um... They show us how to use this stuff and what's the best way. Like, what's the best way to glue these little embellishments onto a card? And I, I'm pretty sure they said mini glue dots. Um, some linen thread. Yeah, those are pretty, right? I think these are the new in colors, maybe. And then you have to see these. I hope I can, like, get it close enough to show you. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. Let me get, there we go. Oh, it's getting blurry. Okay, so it's a little cute little metal heart, and it says made with love. And then we've got these cute little paper clips. And again, it comes in this sweet little box. Um, this was called something embellishment kit. I just tore the label off of it, so I have no idea. But it goes with, it starts with art, this whole suite of products. Oh, thank you. Somebody, I just, you just scrolled up. Hi, Cindy. Um, somebody said that's what they said in Minneapolis. Yeah, sometimes I'm um, not the most, I don't pay really good attention. <laughs> sometimes. There was a lot of things going on. Okay, so here's some of our new ribbon. Isn't that pretty? Looks like it has a glimmer to it, too. Let's see what it's called. It is called... Uh, textile ribbon and this one is mint macaron so there's a new ribbon that's pretty it's probably part of the suite and I just don't know which one then we have bloom and grow I think that's what those framelits might have been for that I showed you like one of the first sets uh, oh here's some more dies stitched nested label dies <gasps> I'm excited about these Get them open. So I also cleaned out, I have this little cabinet that this is sitting on. It has three drawers in it. And that's where I keep my mini catalog, stamp sets, paper, and all the accessories, like all of these types of things, when we have a current mini catalog so that I can, you know, just open a drawer and go, oh yeah, I should be using this, I should be using that. And um, I just cleaned that out except for the paper last night. Oh, look at those beauties. These are going to be fun. I see a lot of possibilities here. What about you guys? Yeah. So anyways, I got that all cleaned out last night. Um, ready to move in new stuff. And I usually don't put annual catalog stuff in there, but I probably will until our next mini catalog comes out. And then I'll clean it out and move that into there. That's how I can kind of keep track of what's new, I guess, is a good way to put it. Okay, here comes some more ribbon. Um, I got... Is there two different kinds of lace? Like, how did I... Oh, I have four rolls of the lace, so... Watch for a lot of that. <laughs> um, oh, and I have to tell you guys that, you know, you think, oh my gosh, how much money did she spend? Well, we just got done with Celebration, and... Um, 
I had a pretty good season with Celebration. And we earn all kinds of rewards for Celebration. So I got like $260 of this was free because that's what I earned with my rewards during Celebration. And that's something that everybody earns, whether you're a discount shopper or a business builder, everybody earns Celebration rewards based on, you know, what you do, what you sell, what you buy. Um, other things you can you can get somebody else to sign up as a discount shopper under you and you get like $25 in free product credit. Isn't this gorgeous? I can't wait to use this ribbon. I was really excited about this. This is called Petal Pink Organdy Striped Ribbon and it is so gorgeous. Yeah. Okay. Um... <clears throat> I showed you these little embellishments that are on this flower card, right? These little puffy deals. These are called Perennial Essence Floral Centers. So I got a whole bunch of those too. Like, I think three packs because I might want to use them on a swap. Oh, and then these are fun. <laughs> Hi, Bev. Hi, Vicki. Okay. Oh, thanks, Lou Ann, for answering that question. I appreciate it. I missed the question. I saw there was a question, but I didn't see what it was. Okay, so then we've got all these little cork things. Now, aren't these going to be fun? And they're super, super light. Okay, they weigh nothing. But here's a little tag, and the hole punches out on the tag. Here's a little leaf. Here's a pretty little flower. These are in one of the suites. It might be the Magnolia Suite, but I don't remember. And you get a whole container of them. And they are called Magnolia Lane Cork Embellishments. So there I answered my own question. Yeah, Marcia, you're right. Um, Stampin' Up! does have beautiful ribbons and embellishments. Now we have Bird Ballad Trinkets. Ooh, let's check those puppies out. Here we go. Oh my goodness, you guys. These are so pretty. Okay, so they all have little hole. Oh, let me see if I can get it someplace where you can see it better. Dang it. They all have little holes in them, so you can, like, make jewelry, or you can hang them from the linen thread. Can you see that little flower? God, I hope my fingernails are clean. That would be gross, wouldn't it? <laughs> no judging. No judging. This is, um... A little key. Oh, I can't even. Look at how shaky I am. I'm usually shaky anyways. My dad um, was always a really shaky person. But I just started my little caffeine drink, Bev. First one of the day. Bev just popped on here. She is my Optavia coach. And I love her. Oh, I gotta stop. There we go. <laughs> you guys can't see anything if I'm shaking, right? Okay, I think that's all the little embellishments in here. Let me, I'll hold this little. Look at how cool those are. And they're almost like a, I don't know, a dark pewter. I don't know what you would call this, but they're really, really pretty. Okay. And then, sail away trinkets. No bras and no judging for sure. I do have a bra on today. Just want you to know that. But yeah, you know, that's one of the things. How about you guys? Like, the first thing I do when I come home from being out in public, because I'm not going to be in a picture of those people at Walmart. Like, that shouldn't happen. That's nasty. So when I go out in public, I dress in clothes. Not pajamas, but clothes. But the first thing I do when I get home is I trot right up the stairs to my house. And I'm pointing over there because there's my staircase. I trot right up there to my dressing room. And we'll talk about that in a minute because that sounds really fancy, right? And I take off what I'm wearing and I take off my bra and I put on a big t-shirt and some leggings. <laughs> and I love it. That, it's just, that's what I do. And the minute I come down the stairs, my husband is so funny. Because the minute I come down the stairs and he goes, that's better. Because he knows I just hate it. Okay, here's the trinkets. Oops. What did I just say I was going to talk about in a minute? Um, I can't remember. Like, that's how bad my memory is. Oh, my dressing room. Look at those. Aren't they cute? So we have the... Oh, somebody told me the name of this thing that's 
I don't know, went in my bra. <laughs> I just lost that little wheel thing. <laughs> I don't know if it's in there. I don't feel it. <laughs> Anyways, we've got lots of them, so don't worry. Um, yeah, let me tell you a little bit. I'm just looking to see if there's anything else in here. So you get a whole pile of those in there. Um, stand up, maybe. A little shaking. <laughs> I don't know where it went. <laughs> Did it go in my pants? Like, I don't know what happened to it. I lost one. Who knows? Um, yeah, Susan, a man invented a bra. They're horrible. <laughs> I hate them. But anyways, so back to my dressing room. Like, that sounds really, like, very, like, pompous, right? I have a dressing room. Well, let me tell you. Um... I'm just going to keep digging things out of here while I'm talking. I already showed you guys these. Uh, we have, we had five kids at one time. I have three stepkids and then Haley. And they all lived here with us when they were teenagers. Like the stepkids came to live with us. And then of course Haley always lived with us. But, um, so we have a five bedroom house. And nobody lives here anymore except me and Steve. So, yeah, I should take, no, I'm not taking my bra off, Deborah. That is going too far. <laughs> um, so we have a five-bedroom house, and it's, and, and it is old, you guys. Our house was built in 1900. It is, it is old. It needs so much work. So don't, I don't want you to think that, oh, wow, you guys that have been to my house are all kind of like going, yeah, she needs a lot of work on her house. But um, anyways, we have five bedrooms. So... Oh, by the way, I need to shut up and smooth sailing dies. These are the dies that go with the smooth sailing set. So I have taken over the guest room upstairs. It has a bed in it. It actually has um, trundle beds. So there's two beds, but one's under the other one. And a desk and a bookshelf and a big closet. And so I keep my clothes in the closet in there. Oh, and I showed this to you guys. Timeless label punch. Yeah. I don't know why I bought another one of those. I already have one. Maybe to give away. Um, I do a lot of giveaways to my team. So maybe I'll, that'll be a team giveaway. So I took over this bedroom. Here is that washi tape. Isn't that just stinking adorable? Yeah, it's got the Stampin' Up! logo on it. So you can close up these boxes. That's why they we think they're upside down, but they're not. You're going to use this washi tape just like they do. To tape the box closed. That's really cute. So I call that bedroom my dressing room because that's when I get done taking a shower, I go in there, I sit at my desk, which has my mirror and my makeup and my hair stuff and a TV because I'm a TV whore. I'm watching TV all the time and I get ready for my day. And so I was calling it my get ready room, but now I call it my dressing room because that's fancy. And my mom is sleeping in there while she's here visiting now because it is our guest room. Oh, look, at, I just saw myself. Oh, no, there's my TV. No. Is that me? That is me. Look at me. Oh, that's cool. So this goes with that balloon set, hot air balloon punch. Let me grab that. Here it is. This is going to be so much fun. A punch with the balloons. How easy. I love punches. Like, don't get me wrong. Dyes are fabulous. But punches are so much easier. Who feels that way? I love punches. So anyways, my dressing room. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I call it. And it sounds fancy. And I also have a camper I bought like a year ago. I call that my summer home, but it's a camper. <laughs> Look at those beautiful things. I was really excited about these because I love the bling. And these are called flower faceted gems. Aren't those so, so pretty? Yeah, Diana says punches are easier. Diane, Diane loves punches. Michelle is agreeing with me. Okay, these are my re-inkers for my new colors. Those are for the new ink colors. Did you guys see, if you missed my other video, I got my second set of trays in. So I've got all my um, Stampin' Blood markers. Well, not all of them because I have like... I have like tons and tons. I have doubles, so when I do classes, I don't want to like have one run out. But obviously, you can see that I, I haven't had much run out, and I've used them a lot. Um, just turned, what did you just say? What did you just say? Just turned in the in your body? 
What does that mean? Um, don't move them. Yeah. So if you watched my video, this was so funny. I took this rack and I set it on my desk over here and these are not meant to be moved around. I mean, you can pick them up and move them, but some of the trays fell and then some of the markers fell out and it was a whole deal that happened. It was just so like, oh my Lord, what's next? <laughs> okay, let's keep going. I'll shut up now. Um, all right, you guys. So here comes more cardstock. Ooh, look how pretty that is. That's the new in colors. And here, do you guys want me to open up all these designer papers? What do you think? This is the last thing I have to show you. Oh, yeah. Sue says, this is a terrible life. My wish list is getting huge. I will need to become one of your discount shoppers. Please do, Sue, because there's no drawbacks to becoming a discount shopper with me. Okay? There is no drawback to it. You can order any orders that you put in after you buy that kit, you get a 20% discount on. And um, if you want to stay active, you have to buy or sell $300 a quarter. You will have until, let's see, April, May, June. You get a full quarter, July, August. You'll have until the end of September to meet that $300 quota. And if you don't meet it, nothing happens. You can just continue ordering from me. Um, you won't get a discount, but... There's nothing bad that happens. And you can order all this stuff in May and get a 20% discount. Yep, that's how it rolls. Yeah, um, send me a PM, Sue, because you will love being on my team. I know you find this shocking, but I'm kind of a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, back to this. Who doesn't want to order this stuff May 2nd? Will this video stay on? Yes, Cindy, don't worry about it. As soon as I'm done showing all these goodies, I will um, post it to my Facebook page. And so when you're on Facebook, there's a little search engine up at the top left of your Facebook screen. You just type in a stamp above dash your creative coach. You will, it'll pop up. You click on it. You can go right to my page. Scroll down to you find the video that says um, product pre-order opening box or something like that. Okay. So, I think I got a yes on showing you the paper, right? Okay, this is the Garden Lane Designer Series paper. So, I'm assuming that this, I'm just going to show you one side first and then the other side. This goes with the Magnolia Lane, I'm assuming. I know some of you know this better than I do. But again, I have not had time. No, I don't think it does. Oh, this goes with that, that stamp set that I said I thought was kind of different. But after I saw the video, I'm like, nope, I have to have that. Yeah, and then you get a 25% discount once you get to uh, Bronze Elite, which is a whole bunch of information I don't need to go into. But it's pretty easy. Then you get a 25% discount. And you know what? Stampin' Up! gives us a discount based on how much we buy or sell in a month. And I say buy or sell because, you know, if you're a discount shopper, you're just buying, right? I get a 38% discount on everything I order. Uh, yeah. Okay, so did I show you? I don't think I showed you this side, right? I don't want to take these out of here because they're hard to get back in. Look at how pretty that is. Did I show you that already? Let's see. I went like... Yeah, I showed you the back, so I need to be showing you the fronts of these. Sorry. Apparently this is hard. <laughs> I can see those papers with the bird set. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea, Sue. Yeah, if you're in Canada, I can't, um, you can't be a discount shopper with me, but you can contact my Canadian friends. I have lots of friends in Canada. So pretty, right? Oh, I think I'm showing you doubles. And last but not least is this one. So these are really, really pretty. Lots of greens going on there. All right. Let me get out. Ooh, look at this, you guys. What? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. I always like to open up the top of my paper pack. I'm just really weird about things, but um, that way when I grab it to look at the name of it, because I can't remember anything, um, the the labels down here in the corner, whoops, down here in the corner. 
Yeah, so Deb says her next order is going to advance her to silver because she's her best customer. Darn right, sister. Good for you. You get some good, good benefits with that, too. Flex points. We have flex points, too. Everybody gets them. And um, you get to buy stuff with flex points. Product credits. You can order free catalogs. Uh, Stampin' Up! has some logo items. Look, Oh, look at that, you guys. Oh, I might have to. I think i got to pull this one out. We're going to pull it out. We're taking the plunge and we're pulling it out. So here we go. Um, there we go. Gorgeous. Yeah, I know, Vicki. I wish you were on my team, too. Sorry. We do not go cross borders with uh, sales, selling, or with... Um, starter kits. Now you guys know that the starter kit is, I already showed you the back of that one. The starter kit is $99 and you get to choose $125 of any product that you want. Anything. And there's no shipping on it. So if you were to put in an order that size, it would cost you at least $12.50 in shipping. And there's no shipping with a starter kit. Here comes another one. Oh my gosh, look at that. Those are compasses. I know what those are called. Wheel cog. Is that what it's called? Is that... No, that's not what it's called. That that little steering wheel for a boat. Ship. Somebody told me on my YouTube video what it was called, and now I can't even remember. Bless your heart. I promised myself I was going to remember that so I could impress her. Fail. <laughs> Big fail. Yeah. Oh well. Can't be perfect, right? Um... Nobody who would want to be perfect. Man, that's a lot of pressure. Hi, Suzette. Welcome. Okay, that was our Come Sail Away Designer Series paper. And I have lots of that. And then I have Perennial Essence Vellum Cardstock. Oh, and this is in a nice... I wish they would do this with all of our paper, but I know it would cost more. Um, because this is uh, vellum, they've got a piece of cardboard in the back and then you get this resealable pouch which is nice but this is vellum it's kind of a peachy color can you see that peachy color and then it's also green hang on here's the green one oops let's get that up there is there another color and I think there's a yellow one here too yep I think I see yellow Oh my goodness, there's a whole bunch of colors, you guys. Look at that. Oh, peach. Uh, this is pink, I guess. This is a pinky color. That's a peachy color. Then there's green. This is really pretty. So, colored vellum is coming back. I'm happy to see that because I really liked colored vellum. I thought it was um, pretty cool, right? Let me put this back because if I don't, then it'll get crinkled and I'll wreck it. And, oh. I don't want to do that to our brand new paper, right? More paper. Did I show you this yet? No. Magnolia Lane. It's licking their lips now. Helm! It's the ship's helm. Is that the steering wheel thing, Deborah? Oh my gosh. See? Now I hopefully will remember that. The helm. Thanks, Carol. Carol loves the vellum. Okay, I'm pulling this. I'm pulling these out because... I know we all want to drool over them. Hang on, you guys. I'm kind of fumbly. <gasps> Ta-da! Yeah. That's beautiful. Number two. Oh, my gosh. You guys wait till you see the back. Holy cow! Comes another one. Yeah, kind of my favorite too. Although I do like the, the sailing paper that goes with the Come Sail Away. Is that what that set's called? Yeah. It is gorgeous, Janet. Absolutely gorgeous. So just some beautiful, beautiful colors in here. And now I think I'm back to the beginning. This is the last one and then it starts over. You get two sheets for those of you that may not know. You get two sheets of each pattern in um, a pack of 
designer series paper. That's what we call it. DSP. If you ever see that word DSP and you don't know what it means, it means designer series paper. That's um, stamper abbreviation. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I got two more packs of that. Oh, here comes the fun stuff. Look at this. Yay. Let me get this opened up. All right. Oops. How much time have I been taking up? I'm going on an hour. That's not really that bad. I'm almost done here, guys. Then I'll show you my retired stuff. I know that's always fun. I always like seeing people's retired products. They're piles of stuff. Okay, here we go. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that's gorgeous. Oh, I love the vibrant colors. You guys know I love bright colors, right? Is it bright enough in here? Should I turn on some lights? Are you seeing everything okay? glue guns. So Steve had, Steve, um, my husband picks up his granddaughter Molly once a week from school and uh, the other day they asked me for a hot glue gun. So I had to go dig it out. It was in the basement in a drawer and some of my craft stuff down there and um, Molly took, a, oh and then they needed a little like jar. So I went down and found one of my jam jars and Molly took pom-poms and glued them all over the jar to um, give to Steve to keep his pens in over in his corner of the kitchen. <laughs> it was so cute. Oh, I already showed you that one. Ooh, I like this. That's pretty. So it was really sweet. But he said when it was sitting on the counter, the glue gun, he's like, yeah, I think we need to keep that close. I've created a monster. <laughs> then she took some pencils and painted them with my acrylic paint. So that was fun. You know, I'm kind of there in the sidelines. They let him do his thing with her, but I'm there in the sidelines saying, um, you know acrylic paint doesn't come out of clothing, right? <laughs> so you may want to go get a t-shirt and put it on her so she doesn't ruin her school clothes that she just <laughs> wore today. Yeah. So, you know, boys, they don't think about a lot of things like that. I always remember when, um, the, when the kids were littler, They'd ask for a drink, and Steve would get out some juice or whatever out of the refrigerator, and he'd take their cup and he'd fill it up. And I would always just like go, Rrr. I said, you only fill those as full as you want to clean up. That's how that works. And then they never drink it all anyways. So it's just those, you know, there comes my, the need for control or bossiness or maybe just common sense. Yeah, Bobby says it looks like my bank account is going to take a hit. Yeah, it is. And I know. Okay, this is the Bird Ballad Designer Series paper. Hold your horses, people. This is amazing. Isn't that gorgeous? And then here's the back. That's really pretty, too. Here's the next one. Oh, my lord. Here's the back. Very pretty. I love, love, love our coordinating DSP. I mean, you know, nothing makes stamping easier than to have these beautiful designs and colors to work with that all color coordinate with each other. Like, I would never go to a store and find these flowers and then you and then grab this sheet as something that's going to go with it, right? But when you put these two together on the front of a card, <laughs> the magic happens. It's crazy. Oh, look at we have feathers. That's fun. So if you, for those of you who didn't come on in the beginning of this video, I am simply showing all the new product that I got in my pre-order box. That's all I'm doing with this video today. And when I'm done with the video, I will share it to my Facebook page. You can go back and watch it from the beginning and catch up to wherever you came on. Yeah, Michelle's like, oh my, I love it. Yeah, I know, Michelle. <gasps> Look at the birds. That's really pretty. That's really, like, stunning. Okay, I showed you that one. And here is the last sheet in there. Yeah. <laughs> Who would want to cover it? I know, right? This would be beautiful for scrapbooking, too. How many of you are scrapbookers? of you actually scrapbook 
I really like to scrapbook. <clears throat> I don't have a lot of time for it because I mostly concentrate on cards. But it's something that I've been toying with in my mind to maybe do a scrapbook layout once a month or something. Vicky does. Good. Okay, let's see what else I got here. Oops, I don't want my paper to get bent. Hang on, it's tipping over. I don't like that. Oh, I got lots. Look at all that. Look at all of it. Look at, I got, I got three packs, you guys. Four. So much fun going to be happening. Oh, here we go. Perennial Essence. So there was a stamp set here that had flowers on it called Perennial Something or Another. And, uh, I mean, the, all the paper I've seen so far has just really been absolutely gorgeous. But wait till you get a look at this. <sighs> Are you ready? Yeah. Look at that. Isn't that... Should I turn a light on? Does that help? I think that made it better, didn't it? Yeah, it does take a lot of time, but scrapbooking is fun. I mean, it just is. Um, it's kind of hard to see what color this is, but this is kind of a pink. It doesn't look very attractive. My lighting's not real good um, with my screen this way. Look at this. <gasps> yeah. Simply amazing. <laughs> be still my heart Marilyn says I know <laughs> are you just dying there look at this holy <clears throat> amazing paper yeah I want to frame it too I have actually a picture over on my wall I'll show that to you when I show you guys my um, bookshelves <clears throat> excuse me that is a frame and I think this would be one that would be beautiful. Look at this. <gasps> Those colors together are just crazy. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> if you guys want to, feel free to S-H-A-R-E this video. Remember, I can't say that word because Facebook for some reason hates me in the last week or so. I have done nothing. I have done nothing, nothing, but they do not like me. They're not being very nice to me. They deleted a couple of my videos in case you missed that. Yeah, I wasn't too happy about it either. But um, So I can't say that word anymore, but I can sure spell it. Feel free to S-H-A-R-E this video. That always helps me out. And then this is the back. <laughs> Are you dying? <laughs> oh my gosh. I know. <clears throat> I'm having some more problems with Facebook, too, because today when I went to put on that little notice that said, I'll be live in 15 minutes. So I have a Facebook business page, which is where you're at right now. This is open to the public, right? Then I have some private groups. Those groups work fine. But this particular group right here, Facebook will not let me share the link to this group in a post in this group. It says that it's against their community standards really because I have a Facebook business page and I'm on my page trying to share my page link and you won't let me like what sense oh I said the word don't say the word okay next oh this is a new one I didn't show this to you yet oh and this has cardboard in it too this is a specialty paper but yeah so they've been giving me all kinds of grief and I'll tell you things can be a lot of fun sometimes I just keep keep moving on Oh, I showed this to you guys before, but I'm going to show it for anybody who might be new. And I'm going to see if I can shine some light on this. Maybe that will... I don't know if that really helps or not. So, oh, now you can see it. Do you see the shine? This is embossed. So all of those birds on this page oops, are embossed. Beautiful, right? And here's the back. And that is not embossed. But it's a real pretty, like, um, Coastal Cabana Mint Macaron color. Okay, right. here's the next one. Can you see? You can see a little bit of the shine. There we go. So this is also clear embossed. Pretty. Here comes the next one. These, you can see the shine by my hand. Yep. And then look at this. 
told you, these mosaics, I think you're going to be seeing them all over the place. I would hoard this DSP. No, Diana, you just have to buy like two packs. You can hoard one, but you have to use the other one. Kelly's rules. <laughs> Here's some more. You can see the shine above my hand. Oh, right here. Oh, that's hard to make that shine happen. All embossed. Is that paper thicker? No, it's not. It's actually a specialty paper because of the embossing on it. That's why. It is standard um, thickness. So it is not thicker. And look, at if you look, oh, you can see the embossing right there. But if you look closely, this is all like, almost like little pixelated tiles. That's what all this paper is made of. Here's the back of that one. Oops, I gotta get my frame. Hang on, I need a drink. Not a real drink, just to wet my whistle. <laughs> I always say stuff like that, you guys, but I really don't drink very much. It's very rare for me to drink any alcohol. I don't know why. It's not, I just, I don't know. I think I just really don't like it that much. I'm not a non-drinker. I've been known to have a few, but I don't drink very often. But I do talk about it a lot because it's funny. Everybody needs a drink, right? <laughs> yeah. Nope, I try to stay away from all that stuff. Except caffeine. Caffeine is my friend. Is Bev still on here? She knows. She goes, oh my gosh, you just have to have your caffeine, don't you? And I said, you darn right I do. How could I talk this fast if I wasn't um, filled with caffeine? All right, next. We have... Oh, this is Pretty Peacock. And the Posy color. Purple Posy. Oops, hang on. The two new in colors. There we go. That shows better. Yeah. So, you guys. Oh, and then I got the new in color 12 by 12 for that scrapbooking idea I have in my head, right? <laughs> we'll see if that ever comes to fruition. Yeah, I have a lot of really good ideas in my head that never actually happen. So, I don't like to talk about them because then you, you know, I don't want to be the person that's, you're going, oh, she said she was going to do this, but she never did. Because, oh, God, I hate that, right? Who likes that person? Nobody. Okay, that's a lot of designer paper, ladies. Um, let me get this moved out of the way so I don't trip and hurt myself because, gosh, could you imagine if I broke my right arm? I don't know why I thought of that, but it just popped right in my head. Okay, I'm gonna put all this new stuff back in the box. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Let me just move this. I'm on wheels here so I can move this and I can show you all my cleaned off shelves. I should have taken before and after pictures, but I didn't. Okay, here we go. Hi, Sam, my friend from San Diego. Okay, I'm going to flip my camera around. So hang tight. There we go. So this is the picture that I was talking about. Oh, let me undo the mirroring. How do I do that? Hang on a second. Figure things out. There we go. That's the picture that I have on my wall, so I could definitely change that designer series paper to something else, right? But anyways, here's my shelves. Look how bare they were. This right here was all stacked full and some stacked on top. And then we've got this that was filled with a whole bunch on top. Oh, and then we have candy in the corner over there. And this one was completely filled with stuff piled on top. So I really cleared out a lot of stuff. And then let me take you over here. Hang on, I'm just going to let you look at that while I open this box up. Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys, my office has got so much junk in it right now. I need to clean it out again. Here we go. This is a huge box of retiring stuff. Like, huge. And then, that's all my current annual catalog. That box on the bottom, that is another big box that is got a lot of stuff in it from the annual, or the Occasions mini catalog. Oh, and look at there's all my storage. Yeah, I gotta get those put together and used, right? So, anyways, I just thought I would share that with you. Here I am again. I just thought I would share that with you because I always like to see everybody's loot that they're retiring. And I know for some of you, retirement is a really sad time because um, if you're a demonstrator, you don't use this stuff again, you know, very often. But um, if you're a customer, don't be sad. 
you should be extremely happy. And I know I'm extremely happy because look at all the happiness I just shared and all those new products that we get to play with. If there was never any new, life would be a very, very boring, boring place, right? So thank you, Michelle. Yeah, my um, I think my wall is pretty cool. I like, I like my decorations in here. Sometimes it gets a little overwhelming and I am so outgrowing my room. Like I actually asked my husband if I could, I'm going to put you guys back in a stand. If I could um, switch our master bedroom and take over that and um, move our master bedroom down here to my stamp room because we're not you know, we're not big showy people. We don't need a big bedroom. Like, what do you need a big bedroom for? Just as long as your furniture fits in there. And this room right here actually used to be, when we first bought this house, this was our bedroom. So I know it works. Um, but I actually said, you know, can can we move back? Can we, can I switch? He's like, no, I'm not going to do that. And I thought he would jump on that because he has knee problems and going up and down the stairs. And last week he hurt his back. It's always something with him. And I'm not saying that to be mean. Like, it really is always something. His body is just deteriorating. So he's got, if he doesn't have one issue going on, he's got another issue starting. And it's just kind of crazy. But um, I wanted to switch and because my master bedroom is pretty big, especially for this old of a house. It's a pretty big room. And he said no. Like, what? So, I don't know. I don't know if I want to deal with all that. We're probably going to be selling this house in a couple years. So, um, do I want to change? I'm going to do a refresh on my laundry room. I'll share before and after pictures with you. I bought a whole bunch. Well, not a whole bunch. But I bought several pieces to redecorate it. Like, I got this really cute um, sign at that floor shop last night for the laundry room. And I have a letter board not like this, but where you push the letters into the little strips, you know, you know, I'm talking about they're real popular right now. I got a letter board for in there. I got a new rug, a new garbage can, that kind of stuff. And I'm going to paint the walls uh, a light gray. So I'm excited about my laundry room refresh if it ever happens. <laughs> and um, if Nancy Salbury's on here, she always asks me, did you ever get your kitchen finished? Because I spent like 40 hours removing the wallpaper from my kitchen. And I painted the walls white, and I never did another thing with it. So I didn't even put the woodwork back around the windows and doors. I know. But all in good time. It's been three years. <laughs> Whatever. Who cares? So, anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to do a laundry room refresh. And I will. I love before and after pictures of stuff like that. So I'll make sure I share it with you guys. But... Somebody just asked me a question about what do I do with all my retired stuff. I have a used stamp sale every year. And um, it's usually the first weekend in June. And I invite all my customers and all my team members that are, you know, local um, to bring their stuff over to my house to sell too. And we sell so much. Like from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. It's like thousands of dollars worth of stuff. But I mean, it's a really big sale. It's not just my stuff. My stuff is a really small little portion compared to all the rest. But it's like our annual thing that we do and I have helpers that come and help me and they're here every year and they're amazing and I love them. Um, I couldn't do it without them, but it's a great big sale. It's right at my house, in my garage, out into my driveway. And thank goodness we got new cement last year because our cement was like so horrible. We were afraid somebody was going to trip and... Um, break something, you know? So, um, yeah, that's what I do with my retiring, my retired stuff is I am a business demonstrator, obviously, right? Um, there is next to nothing that I will keep to use for my own personal use because I am always making stuff that I can show you guys. So I'm not going to use something retired for my own personal use when I can use something current for my own personal use and show it to you, right? So I just, I, this is my business and I, and I take it pretty seriously. So I sell all that stuff to give me money to buy new stuff that is fresh and new and I can keep great new ideas coming to all of you. <laughs> and you guys are so sweet. You are so welcome. I'm so glad that I did the um, unboxing. Uh, please make sure that if you are at all interested in um, coming on board with me as a discount shopper, just know that I never push anybody to do more than they want to do. If you, Some of my longest standing team members are discount shoppers and have been from day one. They've been with me for 10, 12, 14 years. 
and um, there are still discount shoppers and um, I have monthly team meetings that are broadcast on a Facebook live page just like this with demonstrations by other demonstrators, other team members and all kinds of great stuff. We have a team Facebook page that we share stuff on every single day. It's really about being part of a much bigger experience and um, if you want to make some new stamping friends and get a discount on all the money you're spending on this wonderful crazy little paper craft hobby join my team you can get this stuff on May 2nd and I would love to have you <laughs> all right so I have a big day ahead of me I need to get my Facebook live projects figured out um, because I want to go out to eat with my mom and my daughter and her fiance tonight again. Uh, so I need to make sure that I'm done working by the time my mom gets done with her painting class today. Okay. Did anybody have any questions that I missed? Um, cause while I was walking around, I can't see any questions as it's scrolling over my phone and I'm hungry. <laughs> so I need to eat something. I have a protein bar waiting for me. Yeah. You know what? I also have this little Ghirardelli. And I know that um, it is dark chocolate. If Bev's still watching, she is my Optavia coach. It's dark chocolate. And it has a lot less calories in it than most things. 70. I'll set it back here. Don't worry, Bev. I'll be good today. Because I'm going to Hoo Hut tonight. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys, I've taken up enough of your Saturday. I wish you a wonderful weekend. I hope you will be back here tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Central Time, right here on this page. I am going to be live, and I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to be showing you because <laughs> that's how I roll. <laughs> have a great Saturday. Bye-bye.